it's about 4.30 in the afternoon and uh, I noticed that uh, having a little problem with my solar array and this is like one of the nice things about having two charge controllers you can see this array here is putting out 584 and this is the newer one and this one's putting out 774 so uh, that can mean a couple of things that can mean I got a dirty panel a bunch of bird crap um, bad connection uh, bad panel um, but I gotta find it right away because if it is a bad connection it could mean fire uh, so I'm gonna take you uh, along for the ride. I don't know what it's wrong with it yet, but I'll just uh, show you how I uh, troubleshoot it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the roof, which is uh, that yellow cable coming down. Uh, I'm gonna go on the roof. I'm gonna look for anything obvious with a uh, you know panel failing um, or just plain one that's got a bunch of dirt on it. And uh, the culprits, the ones that I'm looking at, are the lower six. But it's going to be windy, so you're probably not going to be able to hear me. So they need to be cleaned, uh, especially the upper ones. But the lower ones are the ones that are not putting out as much power. And I hope you can hear me. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, real quick, go over these things and look at all the tabbing wire. I'm also looking for crazy discoloration in the cells. And uh, once I've determined there's nothing obvious out here, I'm going to go in the attic. So that'll be fun. One thing you'll need before you go climbing up in an attic is a re relatively cloudless day. Because if you were checking the amperage on each panel and you can't tell what's going on outside, you could uh, get it wrong for sure. It's going to be lovely up here. Heck, I probably should have brought some dough with me and made a loaf of bread while I do this. Let me get set up and uh, try to find the bad panel. So as tempting as it is to start with that low hanging fruit over there, I'm going to crawl back there under this antenna and all that and start with that very first panel. And wouldn't you know it, right when I get cr crawled back there, <laughs> my battery, my meter needs a battery. Uh, sometimes you're the dog, sometimes you're the hydrant. So I get all the way crawled in there. <laughs> My battery goes down. Had to put in a, a new battery. What a bummer, man! I swear you can't, uh, you can't have nothing nice, nothing. So I don't have to clamp on the negative and the positive. I can do. Uh, either one or just do both and I'm right now it's a little bit more overcast so I'm looking for about four amps each 4.2 4.0 that's what the last one was and remember having no clouds around is really important all right so all the panels are putting out equal amounts so, now it's time to uh, start looking at connections, because uh, if you're not using the amperage, you're uh, obviously not going to make the amperage. So now I'm going to look at uh, total array amperage output. This is the upper array. This is the one that I'm not having a problem with. And then let me clamp onto the lower array. 23.8 on the lower. 27 on the upper. Not good. So as the sun continues to go down, uh, they're actually getting less and less further apart. So uh, it's actually going to be harder to find, but I am going to check a couple other things before I give up. Otherwise, I'm going to wait for another full Sunday or, or when I'm here. Now, I may have found it. Um, one thing to look for when you're looking for loose connections is heat. And uh, that's only going to happen when there's a load on it. So let me... Uh, the wire up high is 88, and then I'm going to measure it down low, it's 91, and I'm going to do my wires going out of my charge controllers, 88 up high, come on baby, almost 92 down low, so uh, I'm starting to look at this as a possible culprit. Let me see if I can show you the uh, 
temperature of this connection. 104.3 and then uh, let me just point it out in the air. This is the outside temperature. So we know it's right there, just got to figure out what. Alright, so I found it. Um, those two connections right there are the positives. One's the uh, lower array, one's the upper array, and there's uh, no heat there. That's uh, the same as the outside temperature, which is 88 point something. But a lot of heat right in here on the uh, negatives. Now this uh, switch turns off uh, both the arrays at once with the negative, and uh, it turns out one of those nuts got loose, and uh, that could have been from the uh, lightning strike. But if you uh, grabbed a hold of that uh, switch, it was uh, pretty hot to the touch. So I'm going to tighten that up and be done with it. And remember, when you're messing with this stuff, uh, it's always on. And uh, this is the very point where I can actually turn it off without uh, having to force the breaker to trip in the attic. So now I'm just finishing up, tightening up the rest of the connections. And uh, next time I'm home and it's a nice sunny day, I'll uh, see if we have a result. I always got to throw in a little punt with my toolbox. I just happen to love tools. You never know. I might do a video on it sometime, but I kind of feel like that would be a show-off jerk video. So just to recap, uh, you always want to start at the source. Um, what would be called the line instead of the load, where in this case the uh, solar panels would be the line and the uh, inverter grid tied would be the load and or the batteries would be loaded. So uh, there's kind of a science to it. Like if you were having problems with your batteries, some sort of voltage problem, you would always start at the batteries and make your way to the load, which would be one of the inverters. And um, just kind of a rule of thumb with electricity. Um, there's a science to it. You just uh, work your way in a methodical order and uh, hopefully you'll find it. So hope that helped anyway, but uh, I'm happy. Look at that. Almost matched perfectly. Um, I won't uh, know for sure if I got it totally done until uh, I got full sun again and really put the load on it. So uh, anyway, hope this was helpful and you guys have a great night. See you.